Oh, please don't tell me there's another musical in this episode. I will kill. I don't want another musical. Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season 6 episode 9 of Riverdale. This time the title of the episode is The Serpent Queen's Gambit. And yes, we are back. We are ready for a new episode. Uh, what happened on the previous episode though? Oh, the, the, the Pringles guys, he is... Uh, he also has superpowers. I, I think he has the power of manipulate people um uh man or, or like manipulate people's thoughts or something like that i don't know um and yeah he's a new hiram basically <laughs> with the only difference is that veronica is not involved in this story storyline at all she's still thinking about her dad which is kind of sad you know because she's so much more she could be so much more than that and you know the fact that the town is like oh you are another lodge after veronica has literally done everything in her power to like her entire life has been about like destroying her dad so for the town to be like you are another lodge is like a kick in the ass you know so i don't know anyway so we have that um Betty came back at the end of the episode and she was so sweet. I'm, I'm so happy I'm home and I was like, oh yes. And, uh, but she's having a lot of more migraines because of like the, the visions that she has, you know, so we're not doing good, but yeah. Anyways, I'm excited. I'm ready. Uh, I hope you guys are excited and ready as well. Give it a lot of thumbs up if you love Riverdale. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell and uncut reaction always post it first on Patreon. And for now, I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, without, without further ado, let's just begin with season six, episode nine of Riverdale. Here we go. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, hell no. Yeah, hell no. <laughs> Pringles? <laughs> oh no. What are you doing in my house? Wide census I'm conducting. Are you conducting census. a census? Under what? Would you like to answer some questions? Is this his? No. Is this his way of trying to manipulate the entire city of, I mean, the entire town of Riverdale? Oh, I can't wait for you to get to to Cheryl. <laughs> I would not. Oh, that is that the aura thing? Are we also seeing the aura thing? And I'd like you to leave. Now. See? I... Time to vanquish my enemies and be reunited with Maya Thomasina. You can die. That will you be reunited. No. <laughs> I shall reincarnate Thomasina's soul into Tony Topaz's body. <laughs> For the love of God. For the love of God. I love... Look. I love Shoni. I want Shoni together. Okay? But you are insane. Okay, they, they are insane for doing that. Like, no, 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 no. The blood moon will be. <laughs> and Veronica has her own separate storyline. The town wide census is complete, and the people of Riverdale have spoken. How many people do, like, live here in Riverdale that it took you, like, two hours to do this census? Like, seriously. Are they like, uh, it's like a, a town full of like 20 people plus Barchi? <laughs> and since their main source of anxiety. <laughs> Look at Betty. Betty is like, she looks hungover. He is the ongoing gang. Miss Topaz is not on trial. Yeah, thank you. Your thank you for defending her. Noted, Mr. Pickens. Now let's please move on to the next item on our agenda. Okay, thank you. I like. How can you not love Tabitha? Like, Tabitha is just, like, a fucking queen. She is. She truly is. I'm having second thoughts about... Wait. Wait. Weren't you hit... Wait. Wasn't he hit in the head with the hammer? 
last week and he's like already like completely fine <laughs> only on riverdale maybe concerned for his safety so come to babylonia but let, let's be real also like the 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 serpents as much as they you know are a gang right and they used to do a lot of bad things back in the day like now there is more like a like a like a community where they they can get together and like it seems like they support each other at least under um under tony's ruling right and like every time they come out to like i don't know beat someone's ass or something like that is because they have been attacked first Right, so so yes, I understand that it's like gang mentality and like you wouldn't want to raise your kid there, but it's it's kinda not the same with, with, with the serpents, right? Other than the cool jacket. Gemantle. Right? I, I, I don't know. And here we are. Something very, very weird is happening in Riverdale. Yeah, you Even guys are the, the technically up. are the powerful like the what is the name of those three? A powerful po powerful? girls i don't know what the name is could have been a good joke the power puff girls technically they're the power power puff girls us suddenly developing besides us suddenly developing mutant abilities <laughs> i'm talking about percival pickens and actions yeah he needs to be stopped maybe he's a vampire and that's how he can control minds you know Classic superhero narrative. Okay, Betty, can we throw this guy in jail? You're the For FBI. What? Yeah, but not if we can't prove he's breaking it. Beat this guy up. Break no. every bone in his body. I can't do that, Jug. I'd be just as bad as he is. Besides, we tried both of those things. What? What would we want to beat him up and kill? Like he's not a, he's not a killer, Jughead. With Hiram repeatedly. To protect the town from Percival. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I just think that the writers are on crack every time they write one of these episodes. You know, sometimes it's a good thing, you know, the jingle jangle. Sometimes it's a good one, sometimes it's a bad one. Right now, this entire, entire scene, kind of cringy. <laughs> okay, relax, Professor Xavier. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think Archie knows who we that is. <laughs> well, isn't this fortuitous? Above board. So, you have three superheroes, or three people with super abilities. A witch in latex, <laughs> because why not? <laughs> and a, 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 a guy who's probably a super villain. <laughs> Going good. The ancestor. Uh, Cheryl. Just again. Yeah. Just again. That transgression hasn't been settled or forgotten. Okay, uh, will you just let us know if Percival... Honestly, why do we come to Cheryl? Why do we even? Like, I know that this is not Cheryl right now, but they're like the fact that they don't even suspect that something is wrong with Cheryl is because that's how Cheryl behaves all the time, you know. So it's like, why are we even here? As to influence. How is that not blowing up though? Oh, what a good aim. How fucking annoying. You... Or to recruit you for anything? No. No, and because, no. like, no one remembers that I am actually part of the show, so... No. <laughs> I feel bad for Veronica. No. But? Not that that makes sense. None of this makes sense. But well, that, that, first... that's basically Riverdale for you. None of it makes sense, so... It will control people's minds. <laughs> Maybe he was around the explosion. Maybe he's a result of the explosion. She says we need to go to the El Royale. I then use my position as a small business owner and proud member of the LGBTQIA plus community. Yes, you tell him. Charities and organizations in this town. Honestly, honestly, the people of Riverdale don't deserve her if they even question her. It's because of her and everyone else that were here already on Riverdale that you got a Riverdale in the first place. Oh my god.
Thank a you. A disrespect. Uh, yeah, there was. Unfortunately, Tony was voted off the council. The fuck? And let me guess, Alice, this was Percival's idea. Yes. Except for Tabitha, it was a unanimous vote, Archie. Unanimous? Unanimous? Oh my Against God. Tony? How is that possible? Archie I'm tired, Andrews. you know? I'm tired. Just the he man I was looking for. <laughs> Dearest Jug Jug. <laughs> May I offer you a sugar? Are they poison? Gifts to mend her feelings. Uh, <laughs> bright red, baby. What are you doing? <laughs> She's like, oh, my plan didn't work. <laughs> Cohorts. Look at Archie. Don't eat that <laughs> I already did. <laughs> like a child? <laughs> He's like. Oh my god. What's the problem? I think she poisoned them. Uh oh. Oh, for the love of okay, God. Well, I'm invulnerable, remember? <laughs> Cheryl gave us poison scones? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we think so. Well, yes, I saw her aura, okay? Are we? Oh, please. United? Please tell me that this is the fight that ends this shenanigans. Oh my god. Oh, are we not? And reports from whom? From Percival Pringles. That's not. Oh my god, that's planted. Or is it. Or the yours? Check the baby's room. Hell you will! Oh, look, look, look at Pringles! Look at Pringles where he's at! The hell is happening, man? Kevin, why are you doing this? One day of training. He has had one day of training, Kevin. And now he's busting doors and like. I fucking hate Pringles. They want to fight. Okay, remember that a minute ago I was like, they're really not a gang? Turns out they are. Sorry for that. My my bad. I'm sorry, Tony. Full? They needed your presence to keep them company. Cheryl, <laughs> what's the occasion? Cheryl, I'm tired. Get out. <laughs> no, come on. But this is not showing me, so I can't get excited. Jen. Oh, I just had a sixth sense. Ow. Oh, no. Oh Still no! Is that blood? <gasps> mm. Who might need that? <laughs> Have thorn. The more I lost, the more I had to keep on playing. So Veronica was right, and you didn't want to listen because why would you want to listen to someone who actually makes sense at Maybe times? You could talk to Veronica. Her baby Anthony. Oh, this. Ah. Oh. Um, is everything all right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was just having deja vu. Yeah. Jim, I don't know what you've heard from. Uh, now he's gone. The fuck? Wait, where is he? Over the rainbow. Tony, the window. What? The baby can crawl? Someone took him! Someone abducted him! Oh, Archibald. What are you doing? And you needed to dress up? I... Can we... Can we kill Abigail? Let's bring baby Anthony home. Yes! Yes! Who dare touch him, baby Anthony? The ghoulies, I bet. Or the Pringle guys! My dad has a streak of bad luck, and you want to bar him from my casino? No, no, no. She wants you to get your dad the help that he needs. Because he is not like her dad, destroying towns and things like that. Your dad deserves to be well and have a good future. That, that's what she's saying. <sighs> they don't deserve you, Veronica. You'll never guess what cutie patootie I'm looking at right now. You bitch. You bitch. Anthony? <laughs> what they want. You heard of the substance of resisting arrest. What? The hell we are. And I'm live streaming this right now, you scumbag. Yeah, 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 yeah. So be careful what you do. Because the whole world is watching. Yes! You're so smart. You're so smart. She just prevented a bloodshed. Of course. Follow me into the parlor and I'll put on the kettle. <laughs> <laughs> you did. 
This is so ridiculous. Cheryl, if you can hear me, help is on the way. Okay, the fact that they actually want to help Cheryl, you know, is unbelievable. And where's the baby? Oh my god! You're setting her on fire? Oh my god. You villains. You'll never get me out of this body. <laughs> Why is Nana Rose holding the, 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 the doll? It's mine now. Mine! As many times as it takes, bitch. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, it twitched in my hands. Um, Maybe it's because your hands twitch a, twitch a lot, you know? The soul of Abigail is now in the in the in the doll. Ay, Dios mío, por qué me pasa esto? Why am I continuing watching Riverdale? Oh yes, Barchi. Is that you? And the doll? Burn that shit! Burn that shit! Burn that shit! Like, Xavier, it shouldn't be hard for me to win guardianship. This fucking bitch. Kevin, why the hell are you doing this? I Honestly, maybe, I'm sorry that I just said that to, to Kevin, but like, I fucking hate the way he's behaving. I don't understand. My own? Of course, it's Pringles talking in his ear. On themselves. That was, that was Pringles. Oh my god, now we, like, they put a wick. <laughs> So you have your own Annabelle. <laughs> Riverdale is ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> One more thing, Nana. <laughs> they put a wick on it. <laughs> it's just insane. <sighs> this is so stupid. Well, at least we saved Cheryl from being possessed, so that's a win, right? Yeah, but well, something tells me he wants to destroy it. Again, so just like Hiram. Because Hiram first wanted to take over, and then he wanted to destroy Riverdale, so it's the same. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season 6, episode 9 of Riverdale. <sighs> Riverdale. <laughs> okay, so they are... Are they any positive things that I can say? I mean, the storyline is moving... Like, here's the thing. Riverdale always dances on this fine line of being ridiculous and makes sense. You know, and they are like, sometimes we make sense, sometimes we're ridiculous. And they're in that kind of loop thing, you know, doing whatever they want. And sometimes it feels like they have already, like, embraced the fact that they are ridiculous and that they are just, like, you know, a joke, um, you know. So sometimes it feels like that. But there are times where where, where, where that is a good thing because you, you get episodes where, you know, it's interesting and the story moves forward and, you know... But there are times, like, on this episode where you are just like, why did they put a wig on it? <laughs> on the doll? Like, why did they do this? Why do they have their own version of Annabelle? Like, <laughs> do we need that? No. Like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, there are times where it's just, just ridiculous and you can't handle it. And it's just, you know, like conversations that are extremely cringy and the cast you know the actors all do fantastic work you know on on uh, with what they are given you know because the lines when like i bet when they received the script for the first time they're like am i supposed to say drop the scone <laughs> or whatever it's just like i bet that they are like Oh my god. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? So I don't know. For me is like this episode where when 
too cringy, in my opinion. There are good parts that you have to take out of the uh, of, of the episode, which are very good. Which was the storyline with 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 Tony and with Tabitha, who was there for to- like. The thing is that, that I love the most about Tabitha is that when she sees another friend, especially when it's a female friend, she is like a hundred, a thousand percent there for them. She is like the best friend. Like when Betty had her issues, even when Jug had, you know, maybe it's not about just like her being like really like good, like a good girl girl friend you know it's just about her being a great friend to everyone because when you have her by your side it's like she is a thousand percent in you know she will support you throughout everything there is absolutely nothing you can say that she will tell you no my help stops right here and sometimes the other characters are very self-absorbed you know and like they think about their own problems and they sometimes don't think about the problems of others Tabitha doesn't do that you know and that is one of the things that I love about Tabitha so in this episode she was really you know helping and behind Cheryl I mean Tony and like supporting her and like you know uh being there for her throughout everything and I think that was just amazing, amazing. And like I like I said the story with Tony and getting to overthrow the queen, you know, the serpent queen with Percival as annoying as he is, I think it was a good storyline. It seems so easy for him to do whatever the hell he wants. I am not sure why he said that if he can control minds and has controlled the mind of Frank and Alice or persuade them into his side, why can't he do this exact same thing with Tabitha and and Tony? I am going to guess that they are stronger in some sense. There are no so many vulnerabilities that he can take advantage of. We're talking about Alice who lost her daughter and he took that to kind of like convince her to, you know, be on his side. And with Frank, I'm going to guess he, since he's a, uh, uh, you know, was a mercenary or like a soldier. I don't know what the hell it was the deal with Frank, with Frank. But the thing is that, you know, there are things that he can grab so he can manipulate them. But with Tony and Tabitha, they are strong, independent women, you know, and there are they're not much leverage, you know. I'm gonna guess. So that means that there is a a a, a, a weakness to his power. It's not like he can control everyone's mind. It's it might seem like he can, but I don't think that he is able to do that with everyone, you know. Because if it if it is like that, then you know he should have had. Uh, Tony and Tabitha you know just voting for him and like that didn't happen Uh, so I'm gonna guess that he's not as powerful as he seems to be but the storyline was really good you know it served a a point you know even the, the kidnapping of baby Anthony because now he knows you know that he might not be able to control her mind but he's gonna attack the thing that she cares about the most, which is baby Anthony. So he went after baby Anthony, and since um, Kevin has been hit in the head and apparently doesn't think for his self, you know, now, uh, has been manipulated into taking baby Anthony from her because apparently she's a bad influence and, like, due to Fang's behavior and her own behavior then, you know, the baby needs to be taken away from, from her. And since he is the, you know, the son's sheriff who's now also a cop, and at any moment he will start singing because he's also a Broadway fan or whatever, he is perfectly suited to take care of baby Anthony. And I just, like, it just drives me crazy, you know, that they are doing that to Tony, and I hate it. But if you think about a storyline wise, I think it's it is a good storyline and it is something that, you know, will get Tony fired up 
ready to fight, you know, because she loves her son. Like, there is no one in this planet who she loves most, you know? Well, maybe Cheryl, but, you know, Cheryl's been great, great lately, so we, we are not sure. Anyway, so, um, what were we doing? Uh, what were we doing? Okay, so, that storyline with, with Tony really liked it because it moves the character forward and it gets her entirely involved with the with what is happening on Riverdale and all of that and like Tony deserves and Vanessa deserves the quality screen time that she's getting so good for that. In the other hand, it's like they can do good for everyone. Because then you have Veronica who is completely caught out of the uh, main storyline. She is at her casino. She really doesn't even hang out with her friends. She is not part of it at all. She is just there dealing with Reggie and dealing, you know, just working on her casino and like, you know, as independent as I like her to be and for her to, you know, uh, be a successful businesswoman and whatever because technically Veronica can do whatever she wants and she will be successful because she is very smart. Um, the thing that I don't like is that she is just so caught off of her friends. And, like, they only look... F well, it has always been that dynamic, if you think about it. Is that when they need help or when they need money, we go to Veronica. And Veronica will provide. Because sometimes it feels like she has this need of, like, approval. So... If you need money, I'm going to give money. If you need this, I'm going to give you just just so she can be part of Riverdale, you know. And I don't think they consider her much part of Riverdale at all. And, like, on this episode, she was, like, actually telling Reggie something very important, you know, where it's, like, I'm concerned about your dad, you know. And Hiram had nothing to do with this or with her. Like, he was like, oh, yeah, your dad, like, blew up a house and did this and did that. And, like, you know, was the big bad wolf. And you have a portrait of him hanging. Granted, the portrait can go. But that wasn't her point. She wanted for her boyfriend's dad to get the help that he needs. But for Reggie, later we find out that the dad apparently has a year or two to live. So he's like, okay, if my dad has a year or two to live, let him be, you know, let him continue with his addiction. Which I don't think is a good thing, you know. I mean, you want your dad to die an addict because he's addicted to, to the game, you know, to the games and things like that. And, like, it's not good, you know. You will want him to be... Healthy, and I mean, if you can get him, like, physically healthy, because, like, the donor transplant list is so long. Although there are 22 people dead, but I don't think they have their organs. I don't know. I don't know how that works, honestly. But, um, you wouldn't want him to be mentally, uh, uh, like, suffering mentally as well. And that's what's gonna happen, because he keeps betting and betting and, like, there's no limit and you are just indulging and you're just enabling that behavior. I don't think it matters if the dad has a year to live or a month to live. What? You know, if he had like a week to live, then let him be. But you don't have to take on all the burden of your dad just, you know, gambling everything he owns and then taking the burden because later on you will need to have a life and you won't be able to do it because of your dad's mistakes. You know, and also we need to help him, you know? So Veronica was absolutely right, but as usual, no one cares to listen to her until it's very late, and she's actually right about what she said, but we are not going to acknowledge it. So I feel bad for Veronica and for, for Cammy because, like, she deserves so much more. She is, at the end of the day, one of the core four, for better or worse, um, and she deserves to be part of the main storyline, you know, so, yeah. Uh, anyways, then you have Pringles, who is, you know, just being his evil self, uh, doing all these things to take down Tony, I'm gonna guess Tabitha's next, right, and what he wants is to destroy Riverdale, which is a concept that is not new to us since 
uh, Hiram also wanted that at one point. So another like in like what is the point <laughs> of doing that with Riverdale? Like I don't know when. Anyways, um, then what else? Oh yeah, we got rid of the ghost of, of the the soul of Abigail and put it on a doll who previously was supposed to be uh the third twin right the third the, th the triple that Cheryl consumed and was possessing the doll and <laughs> it was supposed to be a boy <laughs> but since <laughs> they're ridiculous since that was Abigail <laughs> they decided to put a wig on it <laughs> They are the most stupid people. Whoever thought that was a good idea. It was so stupid. It was so stupid. But anyway, Cheryl's back. Hopefully she's gonna try to help uh, Tony get uh, her son back and fight against Kevin and, and, and Percival and, you know, all that shitty thing. And hopefully, you know, the... <laughs> <laughs> the doll with the wig <laughs> doesn't come bother us for the rest of the season. <laughs> that was hilarious in my opinion. Oh, anyways, it's just like, who put the wig on? <laughs> I will have loved to see who put the fucking wig on. <laughs> I bet it was, it was, it was Cheryl, you know? <laughs> oh, fucking insane, man. Anyways, uh, what else happened on this episode? Uh, well, Abigail tried to poison uh, all three of them, but yeah, uh, it didn't happen. Uh, Archie was like, uh, you know, they throw a Molotov cocktail at him, and but he survived because he's Archie, you know. If a bear didn't kill him, a little fire <laughs> won't do the trick. Um... So, yeah, and, well, we did kind of get Archie, Jughead, and Betty working together, which was really nice, you know, but I will have loved a little bit more just a long time with Barchi. We did not get that, but they were all working together, and, like, it was it was good. It was like, you know, the team is back together, minus Veronica, um, but that was kind of, it was kind of good, you know, I kind of, I, I like that, um, but, yeah. Yeah, well, that's it. That's the end of the episode, I guess. Cause like I can't, I can't keep laughing about the fact that they put a wig on the doll, but it will get, it will get tiring, at uh, one point, I guess. I don't know, but it was a goodish episode. It wasn't a bad episode. Let's just say that it wasn't a bad episode. It wasn't a good episode, but it was, was it wasn't bad, you know. For Riverdale standards, it was like, eh, you know. So yeah, we we get a lot of that, eh type of episode so anyways um yeah well i don't know how many episodes this season will have i don't know if it's 13 15 16 24 i don't know but i want the season to be over already <laughs> if you give me a lot of barchi then i will i will be here every single week but there's no much like there wasn't much barchi in this episode so kind of sad about that uh but yeah anyways uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Give a lot of thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit notification bell, uncut reaction, always post it first on Patreon. And yeah, that's it. Uh, I think, I, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys liked it. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Riverdale. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys.